Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to create a random facade pattern uh, for this wall. Uh, so I'm going to actually use launch box. First, I'm going to draw a surface here. Let's go to surface. Uh, it's going to be vertical going from here to that point and maybe it's going to be 4 meters. So this is the surface. And uh, for the rest of it, I'm going to go to Grasshopper. Uh, let's first read this surface in Grasshopper. I need to go to Surface. Select this and set one surface. You can also internalize the data. And we can hide this surface in Rhino. I want to use Launchbox. I want to use this random quad panels here. I want to connect surface to surface. You can hide the first surface so we can only see the outcome. Uh, and this is uh, almost good. I want to change some values for U and V. How about I assign like 20 to U, maybe about 15 or something to V. Uh, we can also change the random seed. For instance, if I assign 9 and move this, it's going to uh, recreate the random phase so it's going to be the same number of elements but uh, the randomization is going to be different each time. So this seems good so far. I want to bring one scribble and I want to name this as random panels. Let's make a group here. Uh, next thing I want to do is that I want to change the frames and panels. I want to separate them using panel frame. Panel goes to panel. I can hide this. And now I need to change the scale factor. Uh, I want to go with 0.9 so it's going to give me more of a panel and less of a frame. That goes to S. This seems a little bit better now. Next I want to extrude the panels. Uh, that goes to B. Uh, I need to assign direction. I want to put it on the X direction. Unit X, that goes to D. So now you see they are going inside, so I need to actually uh, assign a negative value to that. By default, this is 1, and it's on the positive side of the X direction. Uh, now, I want to do two things here. First, I want to kind of randomize the amount of extrusion. Uh, let me hide this. So let's uh, first uh, randomize the amount of extrusion. I'm going to bring a random series. So random. I'm going to move this over here. How about I group these three items as panel frame. I'm going to bring one scribble. This is going to be panel frame. Let's group these three these four nodes. And now I need to know how many items I have so this random generator can create enough random numbers for me. So I want to get the length of the list. So panels goes to list. The outcome is the length which is the number or the size of the elements here. That goes to n. As soon as you do that you see we have uh, 70 elements. 70 random numbers between 0 and 1. I can assign this to F and now you see each time the amount of randomization is different. Before connecting this R to F I also want to multiply this number by a negative factor for instance. Uh, let's say if I multiply it by half all these numbers are going to be divided by 2, then that goes to the factor, to the x direction. Uh, and I can double click on the b on this number slider, change the minimum to like negative 1 because we want to move on the negative direction uh, of the x axis. So I want to go to the number here and assign negative half. So now you see they are actually uh, being extruded towards the outside here. 
Uh, this seems good. If you want to change this pattern, you can change the seed. You can change uh, the values that we have for U and V. Uh, if you need different size, you can, of course, change uh, the S or the scale factor. Uh, let me bring one more scribble. And this is going to be my random number. I want to group these items. Uh, another thing I want to do is to also extrude the panels, but separately. So I want to bring one more extrusion. Panels go to B this time, so panels go to base. I need one unit X, and I want them to be um, extruded only a little bit, maybe by negative 0 0.05. That's going to be like the glass part. I'm going to type 0 0.05. Then I'll go to uh, the slider settings and I want to change the minimum to like negative one. Now I can double click here and assign negative 0 0.05. So that goes to X. And now you see this part is responsible for the glass part, which is 0 0.05. And this is the uh, extrusion, the green part itself, which is different each time. Uh, I'm going to bring one scribble. These are my glass panels. I can make a group here. And this item here is actually extruded frame. So I want to bring one scribble and type extruded frames. This can also be a group by itself. So we have two outcomes here. So this is the whole script. Uh, I actually want to create two wall layers. Let's go here. Under wall, I want to bring two sub layers. Actually, both of them are going to be under wall. Uh, the first one is going to be like frames. I can change the color to see it better. And the second one is going to be the panels, the glass panels. And I want this to be more like a blue color. So let's go here and bake the glass panels. It's going to be in my wall layer and their panels. Group them. Yes, please. That's all good. Panels. OK. And I also want to bake the frames. It's going to be on their frames. Group them. Yes. Frames. OK. We are good with the grasshopper code. We can save it and close it. I'm going to close grasshopper. So this is the final outcome that we see here. Uh, you can actually extrude the rest of the walls or design them as they are. So this is like four. This is going to go into my wall layer. We can do the same for this and this curve by four. So now you see that we have actually a different facade here, uh, which is different than the rest of the walls. Uh, feel free to assign material under frames. Uh, I can go to material Maybe this is going to be like a dark color wood or something. I'm going to go to import from library. Wood, maybe walnut. It's going to be walnut brown. This is good. And for the panels, I want to go with just some glass. Uh, and if I change this to rendered, it's starting to kind of show what's going on. And you can see inside the office. Uh, I also want to take care of the floor. I want to extrude this rectangle by 0.3. And this is going to be in my floor layer. And now let's go to properties, render ground plane, 
ground plane settings and I want to assign a material here import from library I'm gonna go with organic grass or any pavement material that you are planning and if you work with your light and everything if you turn the sun on and change the location uh, and of course the time of the day you can also see how uh, the shadows work in one single day uh, I also want to consider kind of a roof here I want to copy this on the roof so I want to go with copy it's going to be vertical I need to turn project off so I can select this corner I'm going to put this here and of course I need to change the material for that to be the roof now if we work with Sun now if I change the Sun settings and actually go to my other view here you can see that the shadows look different inside I'm gonna adjust this camera let's type F6 I'm gonna move this all the way back using project and that can go there maybe we are looking at the surface like this and I want to save this view from here as interior number 2 you can press F6 we don't need the camera anymore and this is how the inside is gonna look like you can work with different Sun settings to see how the shadows work